This is Rupert, a six-year-old wire-haired fox terrier, who's come to doggy styling for a bit of a tidy-up. We started in the bath with a degreasing shampoo. Despite his stately appearance, Rupert is actually quite young for a fox terrier, a breed that can live up to 14 years. His paler colour is due to being clipped rather than hand stripped. Clipping is quite common in wire haired terriers if they aren't being trained for the show ring, but it does cause the coat to become paler and softer. Rupert has been groomed by us in the past, but he still maintains a rather stoic appearance whilst he's being bathed. We did a second shampoo with a moisturising argan oil shampoo before rinsing him off. After toweling off, we headed back to the table. We use a flat nozzle when blasting this type of coat, as it straightens the hair along its whole length whilst it's drying. The wire fox terrier we know today came about in the 19th century. Small, courageous terriers were produced to go into foxes' dens, driving them out to the waiting huntsman. Black and white was favoured as it avoided confusing them for a fox in the heat of the moment, although tricolour is a most common colour today. Rupert certainly portrays the slightly headstrong nature the breed is known for. Nowadays, the fox terrier is most commonly a companion dog, but they still retain the intelligent, occasionally stubborn personality of their ancestors. Once he was dry, we could clip out his paw pads and trim his nails. As Rupert is clipped, the aim is to emulate the hand-stripped look as much as possible. His body is clipped short with a 7 blade, but we will use a 10mm comb attachment on his haunches to leave them slightly longer. The aim is to create a more muscular, sturdy back leg look. Although as Rupert is a bit on the chunky side, we won't leave it quite so long as we would for most dogs. The top of the head is clipped with a 7 as well, as are his ears where the hair is slightly thinner. The cheeks will be clipped with a 10 blade, as this creates a narrower brick-shaped head noted in the breed standard. Most terriers have a carrot tail, so we clip on a 12mm comb attachment to start off the shape. We'll taper the end with scissors once we're finished. The face is where the terrier breeds differ the most. Fox terriers have a short, split brow and a goatee, a slightly more tapered beard where the lower jaw is clipped short from the point of the canine. Rupert's owners prefer a slightly softer, rounder look, so we tend to leave more length on the sides of his muzzle.
terrier should look like they're standing on tiptoe, ready for action, so we take the back of the paw quite short. The legs are scissored quite long, creating the impression of a powerful muscular leg. On a show dog, this look would be achieved by strategically stripping and shaping the legs. But on a dog like Rupert, we can give a much fuller, thicker look. This tends to lead to a slightly teddy bear appearance which Rupert's owners favour. Now looking much more refined, Rupert and his spectacular ears were ready for any country walk.